Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am trying this weird looking wheel tip eyeliner by Revlon. It was a few dollars at Target. I think, don't quote me, I think it was around seven or eight dollars, but there's an actual like wheel on it. Isn't that like the weirdest thing? Now I know, I think it's Benefits who came out with something similar. I never tried that because I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that type of money on trying a product. I really don't know if it's gonna work or not. So I figured, a few dollars out the door, I would try it, you know, hopefully cross my fingers that this is good. It says that it is 24 hour up to 24 hour wear, and this is by Revlon Colorstay. So let's go ahead and just zoom super, super close to my eye to give you guys a really, really close up. You see I have no eyeliner on the top or on the bottom, but I'm just gonna place it on the top. Let's go ahead and get to that video clip. But before we get there, if you could please push that thumbs up button, the tiny little subscribe button and the little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Let's go ahead and get to that video. Here's the tip. It is like super, super tiny, but this is really, really interesting. It's almost like a spider web that you go in the middle of and then it pulls off the extra, I guess, liquid. Okay, look at that, wow. Weird, weird concept. But that went on really nice. So let's go ahead and try the wing. Okay, pretty impressive. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so I just finished up. What do you think? I kind of thickened it up a little bit. It actually did get really, really sharp, if you see that. Now, what do I think of it? The formula, when it dries down, is actually not matte. It is shiny, and I'm just not a fan of shiny uh, liquid liners. I like a matte liner, but totally preference. Was it easy to work with? Yes, extremely easy. What is it like? It feels like a brush. It really does. It feels like you got a eyeliner brush and you dipped it in like a liquid eyeliner and just put it on. That's kind of what it feels like. But then in the back of your head, you know that it's a, it's like a roller, it's a wheel. So you can't move that brush, so to speak, you know, but did it go on really good? Yes. Is it a different type of technique? Yes. Does it draw different size lines? I don't know. Let's see. Cause I drew it like the wing and then I just filled it in like that, you know, just filled it in. But if I push harder, no, so it's always a thin consistency in the line. And you can see one dip, look, just one dip goes a very, very long way. And that's kind of a benefit, you know, you dip once, boom, you're done with one eye, because I do know when I dip my brush, sometimes I have to dip a few times just to get that, that line like perfect. Anyways, you guys let me know. Do you think that this is really cool? Is it worth it? Would you prefer a brush? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. If I can find a link to this roll on wheel eyeliner by Revlon, I will post it in the link down below. Um, but please, while you're down there, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the little subscri subscribe button. I don't know why I can't talk. Subscribe button and the tiny little bell next to it. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.